G'day guys, Chris here, Midlife Carpentry. Welcome back to uh, another installment on the van build. We're going uh, going with part four today, and <coughs> we're doing something, uh, I did say we're gonna build drawers, but we're gonna do that uh, probably later on, probably maybe part five, because uh, yeah, I was gonna do it under the carport. Carport's not built yet. Anyway, we'll go there later. But I really needed to secure these two drawers and secure a top on, on, on the top as well. So that was kind of my priority and stuff um, with this little installment. And uh, yeah, I need to make sure everything was lined up ready for the drawers as well. So originally I found that the, um, the way I had the drawers originally placed, they were too far into the van, therefore giving me less room to actually put drawers in the side here. So what I've done is um, I've actually pushed them back towards the door as much as possible to give a few more clearance just to those little lock things that are on the back doors there. So. Um, yeah, just to give us a, a, a bit more room to try and get the double draw, the, the draw to fit two Mac packs in, um, in the side door here, in this behind this driver's seat. So. Now, something I wanted to show you guys today, something pretty nifty. I was trying to work out a reference. Like, How do you reference in a van which is full of all sorts of curves and shapes and stuff, um, a, a, a point of reference to, to get things square and to line things up? And I come up with this little bit of an idea. I thought, I'm gonna use a string line. Same as what you do for, for carports, for slabs, everything. You use string lines quite regularly as a carpenter. And if you haven't got one in your toolbox already, you better make sure you get one. So look, all I've done, put it around the top handle of the door. The doors are fully open, okay, on both sides. Using the top handle, I've ripped it around, run it across, done the same on the other side, and there, bang, I've got a reference point to make sure that my drawers are sitting where they should in the van. So all I do now, Run my square up to just touching it, just about to touch it. There, there we go. Good. And then get my tape and I measure and see what my back of my drawers are sitting at right now. Perfect. Works out really well. So now I now know that this side is the same as what this side is, so that uh, anything I build continuing on from this uh, should be pretty square and flush. And the same with um, putting the lid on and stuff like that too, should be all pretty uh, Mickey Mouse with the van and, and make sense, not too crooked. All right, I'm gonna keep getting on with building my supports. I'm gonna put some braces on the sides, ready to tie down into the um, tie down points on the van. Um, and then I'm gonna look at securing a lid on top as well. And uh, yeah, things are moving forward. All right, guys, let's have a watch. Righto, so we've built the frame up pretty good up on top. It looks pretty good. Everything's square, everything's Mickey Mouse. We've put these um, 70 by 35s on each corner where the, um, uh, the mounting points are in the van, okay? These anchor points are important. It's important to actually anchor down the drawers themselves. You, that, otherwise things are just gonna go pear-shaped if, if something happens. So um, we wanna try and anchor the drawers as much as possible and uh, keep them nice and tight. Uh, and that'll help obviously um, brace it to a degree as well. What I've done, gone and got a couple of these hook and loop setups. I did want to get hook and hook because that would have made life a lot easier for me. But because uh, we didn't have hook and hook, we had hook and loop. And then I had to get a little D shackle kind of style thing as um, twist on lock style thing. Um, so yeah, so got those on, hooks for down the bottom and, and up the top here. We're just going to be screwing on basically like that. So that's pretty much the setup anchor down the bottom there. All right. So I'm going to go through and do this now. You can have a watch, watch what I'm doing. And um, yeah, if you've got any questions, hit me up. But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Screws in the side, uh, screws in the side and down to the, uh, and down to the base. So we'll hook it off and tension it up. Tech 
screws and stuff just for the sides here just on this edge but there'll also be okay there'll also be once the board's on there'll be a batten screw that comes in through the top as well so a nice decent batten screw right through that piece of timber okay so you're anchoring those four points and you're basically um, just securing everything as much as possible and um, yeah and you haven't uh, haven't made it too light on with your anchor points Handy little bit of kit this guys, if you haven't got one, get one. Very handy when you're getting into like uh, rough little areas and stuff like that, so tight areas and stuff. Very handy to get into. Now all we do is wind it up. Pretty easy really. Just apply this tension. Give it a twist. What we'll do, we're just getting just getting a little bit tight now. I don't want to put too much tension on it. Once I get the board on with the batten screw this point here, um, yeah, I'd say we're going to be good to go. As you can see, I've prepped up the, the underneath of my bed pretty heavily. So I've braced my drawers again, double screwed them, I've squared them off, I've paralleled them, I've made sure they're as straight as possible as they can be, and um, as sturdy. Like this whole unit feels a lot stronger now than it did uh, but at the start of the day. So uh, it's a good feeling to have, definitely. Right there, uh, I'm gonna get these boards on, and then, uh, yeah, pack up for the day. And uh, hopefully that's, that's got you sorted. We'll have a chat once we've got the boards on. There you go guys, so that's a part four done. Part four of the van build is completed and I'm generally very impressed with how the van is going. It was interesting to note that the uh, once the drawers were all nice and straight and tightened up and level, uh, well, not level really, Tom, but yeah, square with, a, with square with the van and square with each other and everything, their operation is fantastic. It's really smooth, they operate greatly before it took a little bit of um, a little bit of oomph to slide the drawers in and out. But uh, now they, they're working amazing. The drawers actually slide as they should. And um, yeah, I, I, I'm, it really feels good actually. So it's a nice feeling because I thought I'd done something wrong in the first place. So yeah. Um, so guys, like, like you can see, I haven't got a carport yet. That's still on the way. That's still happening. And uh, once that's in, then uh, I'll start doing that drawer build. And I'll do that a little bit step by step, a little bit more detail. And you guys can see how I did it, um, a way of doing it basically. And uh, yeah, we might even be able to help you out one day. Apprentices, listen closely. Getting organized feels awesome. I mean, the ute I had before was okay, it was pretty good, but this thing is a level up, it really is. And taking the time to just organize what I thought was organized even more is, is mind blowing. You know where everything is, you know what you've got, you know what you need, it makes your day so much easier. So I cannot stress this enough, guys. All right, get yourselves organized. You can do it. Trust me, you can do it. <laughs> Righto, guys. 
Build on Legends. Have a cracker of a week. We'll see you on the other side. Uh, we'll get the other drawers started. Get the carport up. Do the drawers. I've got some tool shout outs to do still. I've got to do a, um, and as I said on a few items, uh, especially especially that Makita cold cut saw, because geez, I, yeah, I really want to talk about that because that's yeah amazing little saw. I think it really needs to be shared and spread out to everyone that, you know, it's the way to go. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. I'll catch you later, hey. See ya.